So, moving on from that, we have to talk about another shoe that's got like a soccer influence. Another one. They're coming thick and fast. Fast and thick. Here we go. Courtesy of Hypebeast regarding the Otto 958 collaborations with ASICS. Um, as you can see here, these are definitely up my street. 100% up my street. Number one, they kind of got that um, early, what would you call it? Is it Tiempos? Are they 90s? I forgot what the, what the soccer boot was, but it was a particular Nike boot. I remember, I think it was Nike and I might have first done it. But I remember when I was first buying soccer shoes, they would always put the laces like a little bit away from the instep. So the idea around it was that it would increase the hit spot where you'd hit the ball. So they'll kind of put the laces and make it a little bit like kind of bent. So it would kind of slay that way, which again, it was, it was mostly, you know, um, placebo nonsense and marketing. But it made you feel like, you know, that like you're a professional because you had these shoes where the laces bent that way and stuff. And there was more more sort of material on the inseps so you could kind of technically bend the ball like a David Beckham. So I do like the fact that the lace, the sorry, the eyelets or whatnot have been kind of, you know, morphed and warped a little bit. I also like this addition of the outsole. Here, you've got this nice little chunky sort of teeth design here on the outside, which is nice, which also means that this is probably the flex point right? This is the flex point where it kind of bends up and down. Rashi Richie, I'm live. I'm live. I'm live. It's live. It's live. We're live. Never taped. Never taped. Always live. So yeah, this is good little flex points here. And also the other thing I like about it is again, this copies. This to me, this to me copies the same colorways that I say always work. The free base, the free main colorways. Sorry. Well, I kid him say that again. My theory is that to have a great collaboration and a great, um, what you call it, and a great shoe, you should mainly go for three main colors. And I think these actually smash it. So on the first pair we have here at the top of the shoes, we have like a dark or like a forest green type of color with a black, basically. So essentially keeping it under three. The next shoe, you have a black body with a silver asic sort of logo and a purple outsole so you've got the three colorways and then on the second shoe or the third shoe so you have a gray body with the black asic logo and again the black outsole so it goes by the same methodology that i say three colorways or less makes a perfect 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 colorway and i absolutely love it no the no this isn't the this isn't a security tag this is actually the logo so it's a brand called otto as you can see here Otto 0958. So this is basically the brand and that's the logo of the brand. So it's kind of like a nice little twist on the football flap that you'd have on soccer shoes or baseball shoes and it kind of just turned it into this O. I kind of like it. It looks really cool to be honest. I'm really down for it. I'm not going to lie. And of course you've got a better angle of them there. I, I kind of like that. I think they look really nice. So let's quickly read the article here. It says Otto 958, a joint project between Kiko and LA based LA-based art gallery Morin and Morin, formerly called Morin and Bondaroff, but we know why they dropped Bondaroff. We don't have to discuss that too much. Has unveiled his first collaboration with ASICS. The up-and-coming footwear series arrives in the dark grey, green and black colorways which take inspiration from 90 Japanese leather soccer boots. Found in a streamlined silhouette, the up-and-coming pairs featured a, qu a quilted toe box and an off-center lace system. There we go, that's what I meant to say. Off-center lace system. Um, to increase the contact surface between the ball and the foot. The O logo embroidery offers covers the entirety of the tongue flap. The Asics logo are displayed across the tongue. Um, take a look at the Otto 958 and Asics collaborations above and look for a release date to surface in the coming weeks. So, no, 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 no release date, which is annoying because I really want these. I really, really want these. I'm not going to lie, but there's no release date. Um, I actually like the... This, this option, I guess that may have been the sample. There's a sample here with the same green sort of like body and the silver or the black sort of logo, but then it's got the tongue is yellow. I really like that. I would have preferred those to drop. I guess that might have been a, a runway exclusive or whatnot, but they look absolutely hard as hell. So when they do end up releasing, I'll definitely try my best to get them because they look absolutely banging. So big up um, Otto 958 and big up Asics for putting those together. They look absolutely sick. And they actually kind of remind me of these bad boys, which I'm surprised haven't been remade or reissued or retro in some way, shape or form, especially when you consider the success of the Sambas. Like Nike, that's why I always said from time, it's always fuck Nike. Because as much as I like Nike and I like to wear the shoes, the guys that work there are so slow. They're so not on point. 
Because you think about what's happening now, especially with the Samba hype, especially just with the silhouettes of the shoes becoming thinner and more sleeker and people wanting things that they can kind of interpret with all their fashion gear and whatnot. This model that originally debuted in 2004, if there was, and again, the thing about uh, Zoom FC is back in the day when I used to buy Dunks, these are the shoes I would always get left on the racks. No one would buy the collaboration Zoom FCs, even though there were some pretty decent collaborations, like this one I have here, um, that featured a collaboration with uh, Gino I Iannuichi, the legendary New York skateboarder, or no, sorry, New Jersey skateboarder. He put these collaborations together and they were absolutely banging. But for some reason, Nike are not really, you know, what's that thing called? They're not actually waking up and deciding to retro these. Because I think these will do way better now than they did back then, especially if they really flush out the inside. One thing I remember about these FCs, they look a little bit sleek here. So essentially, it's like a, it's like a, it's like a Nike version of a Samba, essentially. But it's a Nike version of an indoor soccer shoe. So what I think they should do is maybe gut the inside because I do remember owning a couple of the pairs, and although they look kind of sleek, they're actually kind of bulky. If you look down from when they're on your feet, there's a lot of padding on the inside and whatnot. Loads of um, just excess material. So they can definitely flesh this out a bit, make it a little bit more sleeker, make it a little bit more narrow. And that will definitely fit into what people like to wear nowadays. So I'm surprised, legitimately surprised that flipping Zoom FCs haven't made a comeback considering what we've been seeing with the hype on flipping Sambas and whatnot. But again, what do I know in it? I'm just some guy ranting and raving in his living room about absolute nonsense. I don't know what I'm talking about.